Alright, hey guys, it's uh, Photonman41 here, and, uh, <laughs> oops, and, um, I'm here with uh, another one of my how-tos, um, this is How to Play Scion, it's a game I played, uh, a little earlier, uh, when I got my, uh, computer running again, um, apparently my computer does not like the Adobe Air 2 mod, or whatever it is, but anyways, Scion, how to play Scion, tips and tricks, uh, basically from beginners to eh, to about moderate level, I would say. Um, if you probably if you know how to play Scion already, you probably I really I don't know how much I can teach you, but uh, if you've never played Scion or would like to play Scion or just want to hear me talk or watch some League of Legends, then this is the place to be. So right now, I. Uh, want to start off with his three with his uh, three main skills I kind of omit his ultimate and I'll go over that a little later but um, right now we start off with uh, cryptic gaze which is his stun I normally get his stun first just because having a stun first allows you lots of different options it may get, grant you a kill it may save your life um, especially, like, say they get caught underneath the tower or whatever. I mean, you could whack, 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 stun, especially if you have someone else, and they, they're also whack, whack, whacking, then they stun after your stun. I mean, that's almost a guaranteed kill. Um, it can also interrupt channeling, channeling spells or anything like that. Um, I just like getting the stun first. Same with my Vigor. I always get the stun first. Um, next, I get the, uh, I think it's something Caress. It uh, is your shield, and basically it gives you uh, little white bars now that they put in, um, so some like pseudo HP, and um, after about four seconds you can let go of this shield and it'll do AP damage in uh, a radius around Scion, and uh, is really good for harassing and really good for survivability, it adds more HP to you, and combined with his cryptic gaze, his uh, Death's Caress, I think it is, um, his shield allows AP Scion to be so beastly. Um, and then lastly, his Enrage, which is, makes his Axe go all red. It um, increases his attack damage, but the main thing about Enrage is for every kill he gets, he gets a certain amount of uh, HP permanently, his maximum HP. So by the end of, a, if a game keeps going on and on and on and on, uh, Scion could end up having pff, uh, infinite amount of HP. I mean, that's how good it is. But, I mean, uh, at the end of a game, you're probably going to end up around 3,500 without a lot of HP items, which is how I like to build um, AP Scion. I like to go, uh, I like to rush, I like to get a Chalice, because he's got really bad mana problems. I have runes for about 4.3 mana per 5 second runes um, and uh, I usually get a mechie pendant to start so here I'll start my video here and I'm just yeah 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 and I'm, so I'm getting my devil's caress and I end up going for the mechie pendant and a couple health pots but uh, I end up turning this mechie pendant into a chalice which allows enough mana regen for spamming his shield like crazy and using his stun whenever needed and still have mana all the time. You don't need blue buff, you don't need anything like that. Um, blue buff is amazing on Scion, though. Um, so, to begin with, uh, right now, this Udyr, he's jungling, and he's going to counter jungle uh, by putting a ward there. And so this allows um, us to know what's going on. But he went in all by himself. If we were a collected team, this is just a solo queue for me. Um, a collected team, we would have been here. We could have probably got this Ez pretty easily if all f five of us were there. But, of course not. Um, he ends up getting away. But uh, <laughs> they're kind of worried that we were all right there. Whatever. And he's just going to go back. It's, it's fine. But... Uh, <laughs> If all five of them were there, it'd be big trouble. Uh, and I came down once I saw some some faces flash. That's basically your giveaway that you need to <laughs> be going towards where all the faces are. You don't want to be away from a team fight. So right now, I think I'm gonna solo top um, out of all of us. I think that's a pretty good choice. Besides Rise, Rise is gonna take middle. This this team that I'm on, I don't know what we were thinking, but uh, I mean. 
we have no attack damage if Udyr doesn't pull through. Um, that really ends up hurting us in the end, and this Mordekaiser went boots with pots first. Whatever. I don't know how to play Mord, so I won't judge. But right now, I got my stun. I'm waiting for the... So the. Hopefully, I'm just going against one person, because I do know that they have a jungler, which is Nunu. And, uh... I'm, fight, I'm facing a Teemo, and that's pretty good news for me. I mean, he will be able to lane me out just because he's ranged, or zone me out because he's ranged, but I will be able to get in there once I get a couple levels of my, my shield. Just run in, blast him if he stays close, um, and then use that blast to farm creep waves. So I'm just trying not to let him push me around. I uh, <laughs> use use my stun to push him away, especially when my creeps are coming up on him. Um, I stunned, so hopefully those creeps, I kind of timed it bad, but the, if I would have stunned when the creeps were right on top of them, those creeps would have done a lot more damage as well. So right now I'm just trying to stay <laughs> alive against a ranged, um, trying to sneak in a, a, uh, a creep hit, or a last hit every once in a while, and uh, oh, I immediately pick up my first level of shield and I use it right away. I want to use it on these on these creeps, these low these low HP creeps and man, I I just got two last hits right there using using my mana to farm. Um I don't I don't really think I could kill Timo right now uh, unless with a gank. So just getting last hits, letting him push the creep wave, that's fine. I'll be close to my tower all flipping day. Um so I pick up another level of my shield. Um Right now, you don't. It doesn't really matter with uh, Scion as much. I mean, you do want one level of each. Uh, your your stun, your shield, and enrage. But um, right now, I'm thinking uh, I don't want to be pushed around by this Teemo. I'm gonna go for another level of my shield. It lets me absorb more damage. It lets me output more damage, and it will get give me more um, ability in the lane. Um, if I'm facing against, like, say, I'm solo versus two, then that's really bad. Uh, I probably all I probably put as many points as I could in my shield to be, you know, to at least keep the creeps off my tower. But say I'm with uh, two versus one, like if I had Udyr landing with me right here, I probably would have gone all three. Um, unless I thought I was really going to get a kill, then I would have gotten my. Uh, another level of my shield, but because um, Scion in a lane with another stun is pretty OP. He's pretty fucking tough to go against. So, anyways, um, so basically, I've just used my shield to push back the creeps off my tower to keep Teemo away from the creep line and allow me to get dominance in my lane. Um, and also, just last hit and creeps off of. Oh man, I thought he was. Gonna, there we go. So I got that one. Lose that one, but. Uh, make it so he tries not to get me and uh, I'm using my shield there's four they're gonna start attacking my tower or close to it and I think I use my shield to pop him down low oh my goodness horrible last hitting by me but right now okay so I get my first level of rage and turn it on and I keep my enrage on all the time um, enrage every whack you you use you um, lose health but with um, you losing health you gain it attack damage and you get that HP bonus for every kill you get but as AP sign you're not really gonna be whacking too much you're just gonna be um, using your shield to farm creeps and so that's why I always keep it on um, just so I won't miss a kill with that turned on because if you have it turned off you can't get the HP bonus so right now I think I'm gonna use, start using start procking my shield oh wait I see I see uh, Udyr coming in and I want to get uh, get my shield ready to go just so when it's time to engage I can I'm ready to to pop my shield I go in oh he flashes away and I flash in I stun and boom I use my shield I think he changes the bear stance and he stuns and we end up getting the first blood so and he walks away whoo barely really perfect perfect see how strong of a lane that is when when uh, <laughs> I have another stun in, wow! Uh, if I had a lane partner and not and these idiots, like you'll see, they end up doing horribly. Uh, I if I had a lane partner, we would have just dominated this Teemo and we would have kept kept going on this throughout this game. Otherwise, uh, what did end up happening is I did pretty well. I farm up like crazy, and. Um, 
and have a great early game. But this, but as soon as as soon as it starts getting to team fights, I get focused too early, and um, the tanks. I mean, Olaf and Mordkaiser and U Udyr. I don't know. I don't know if he was supposed to go attack damage or whatever. But Mordkaiser and Olaf, they should be pretty tanky, and they just got picked apart. So right now I'm kind of worried that Nunu is in the in the jungle. I know there's a jungler, so I'm just trying to be careful. I'm not trying to push all the way up on the tower, and uh, I'm just trying to get every last hit I can. And Timo's being a little bastard, so I use my shield to buff buffer some of my health and also to push the creep wave back. I'll use it to get that. Or I'll use it to blow up on that one. Yeah, that's it. Anyways. So I'm just using, oh, uh, he sees that my my shield is down. I just use my stun to stop him from hitting me while my shield is down. And right now I'm kind of, uh, I use my, my last health pot. And I'm kind of in a bad spot, but I'm not really worried about Teemo. I do have my exhaust. Uh, he's just <laughs> using using all, all the shit that he can. And uh, I'm not really worried, just worried about the gank from Nunu. Um, do have my exhaust and my stun, so I think I'm okay. Um, and I just want to whittle this creep line down before it gets to my tower, because once the tower gets in, involved, I don't get every last hit, I uh, get tower, uh, tower damage on my tower, and I'm the only one top. That top tower is my responsibility. You do not want to relinquish any, any damage on your tower, because, I mean, that's your fault. You should try and keep your, your towers as long as you can. That Towers mean um, sight, map awareness uh they give you safe haven if you need it and a pla a place where you can um uh recall to uh, recall to uh if you have teleport uh, all sorts of things come from towers being up and lots of good comes from getting towers down uh so i'm just trying to not give them any good things uh basically and, and uh, all i'm doing is i can't really uh, kill off Teemo with my stun shield combo. Uh, wow, and he gets me pretty good there. Uh, I'm, I'm only got three bars of health. I don't know why I'm going back. I should be going back. Um, I I was hoping that Udyr would be around here somewhere, but he's not. He's farming the golems. And uh, right now I'm just uh, trying to keep it so... I can push it far enough up that he will <laughs> he will back off and I could back you know safely without my tower getting hurt so and I'm just using my shield whenever I probe in I use my shield because whenever he hits me it's not gonna hurt me just like Mordekaiser when he goes up and he hits all those creeps and he gets that that shield uh, that shield uh, his extra shield thing whatever uh, just the same way, you go up probe, and you're never doing ac any actual hurt on on Mordekaiser. You're just doing it on his pseudo shield. Um, same idea applies for Scion. Um, right now, I use my stun to get away from the Teemo, uh, just so I can back. And right now, I make a huge decision. Uh, I do need my boots, and I do need my my chalice for my regeneration. But whenever I have over 1600, that usually goes off my head to get. If I'm playing an attack damage, get a BF sword, or if I'm playing AP, get a needlessly large rod, and that's what I go for right here. Um, with Scion, when you have uh, when you've reached a certain limit on your AP, that that is great. You can start farming like crazy because his shield, when you have high enough AP, you can just wipe out an entire creep wave with just one sheet with one shield. And I don't know what is going on over here. He's at full health right now. Watch. And so, yeah, Olaf is good. I don't know where he's going. Where is he going? And I think he's going to end up dying. And Olaf and them are fighting Nunu. They're fighting, they're fighting, they're fighting. And dead. Yep. Oh, he's a full health. What was he doing? What was he diving for? Olaf doesn't do anything. Ugh, moron. But as you can see... My shield can take out almost an entire creep wave. It doesn't take out the uh, the cannon, but that's okay. Um, and I'm basically alternating right now my cryptic gaze and my death caress. And I'm just proc my shield. So I use my shield. Use my shield. Come on. There we go. Use my shield. And I'm using it to scare him off. And boom. Wow. Just got 18, 18, 18, 24, and 24. That's 50 plus 
Uh, or that's around 110 gold just from one creep wave. Wow. Okay, so I know Teemo is going back now. And I have a pretty good damage output. 112 AP, and it's only 9 minutes in, or it's about 10 minutes in. I can either push push the tower, which I normally that's what I would do, but I don't know where Nunu is. He's a jungler. I thought he was down here, but uh, he could be up here, and he could just come in and stop my push. Or I could help middle gank, and I want our middle to be fed, because he's already hurting. Um, his tower is being pushed back a little. So right now... Right now, I start my shield proc. I know he's already going to be close, so I, I start my shield proc. It's going to come down in two seconds. See that two right there? It means two seconds. It's going to blast no matter what, so I need to get in there. Uh, I timed that pretty well. I He's close to the brush, so I just walk in and get my stun off. He flashes in, unloads his entire combo, and boom, overload to kill him. That was a good gank. That's, solid. That's all Rise needed was... Um, one cryptic gaze and a shield blast from me and he could do the rest that's all and then I just stay here to farm up and as I see this happening I don't know what's going on with with dragon but there's four people here and when I see a whole bunch of just faces down here that means I need to get my ass there so that's why I'm moving there but uh, there's nothing we can do right now I mean Olaf was here uh, Udyr was trying to dragon or they had it warded or something I don't know I didn't have much to do with these morons on my team but, um, I have no idea. But, uh, I'm just using, look, look, it's, this mid tower is almost down already. Um, so I'm just, I'm staying here because Rise went back and, uh, Olaf's going back. I need to repel this attack. And one thing, AP Scion is great. He, since he can clear creep waves really easily, he's also great for repelling pushes. Right now, Teemo's being a little bastard, but, uh, and, and so right now, my shield's offline. I just tried to use it to, to push back that lane. And it's got pretty good health, but I can see Rise is coming back up here. So, And, and the tower's attacking Teemo. So I'm also running in. I go in. I stun Nunu. And stop him attacking. I clear all that creep wave, and boom. If Rise was here only a bit earlier, man, he, we would have had some, uh, some money kill right there. But, uh, oh well. Whatever. <laughs> right now, I need to back. I think. Uh, oh no, I have I have mana. I want. I was going to attack the doggies, but then uh, Udyr is a pal, and he is going to help me get uh, blue buff, which is going to help me greatly. I mean, I have pretty good mana regen right now, uh, and or, I mean health regen right now. And since I have, I'm going to have unlimited mana with my blue buff. I'm just going to go farm more. That's the only thing that's really keeping me back from not. Uh, farming yes my health i should not be farming in lane because the other people can see you but if i have mana i'm going to try and farm our jungle a little bit um right now you know just i have i'm trying to use up my blue buff far, farm up the lane easily stay away from the fucking teemo i'm at half health i could go in and attack i think i'm gonna probe in with my with my shield yeah so i got my shield come in probe in in. I'm also kind of wary of where other people are, but meh, whatever. So I think I end up going back here. Yeah. Uh, oh no, no, I'm gonna head up mid because Cat's a squish and he's heading in mid. And I mean, there's nothing he can really do against me and Rise if I get that stun off. Um, but he smartly backs. Probably a call from Timo, or I think I might have hit a mushroom or something. And there's nothing I can really do. Um, I'm going to come back up uh, to top to repel Teemo from the, the tower push. Because he's, he's pushing pretty well. And uh, and I don't go into the brush right here because <laughs> cause that's stupid mushrooms. And I think he saw me in one of his mushrooms. But uh, I'm just going to try and get some damage off. Send my blast. Whatever. What this Teemo does... What this particular Teemo does is... Uh, he, he likes to stay invisible and hide in place. We catch him a couple times just hiding in the middle of something, but he uses his like, invisibility thing. Um, well, I use my flash, come in. I think I could get a pretty good <laughs> uh, attack on him, but I never get my, my shield off, and I use my, my stupid exhaust. Meh, whatever. Failed attempt, but I did get quite a lot of gold, and I don't know what's happening here. I don't know how they keep getting picked off one by one, 
Uh, I think... Oh, I'm thinking, wow, all these people were mid, and Udyr was up here. Maybe we could get a gank. Uh, oh, I get m moving. Oh, I'm moving. Oh, 